Well, it's the second to last week of fishing tips for the year. And on part one of the final two segments, Ray and Mandy talk about the importance of invasive species prevention. The segment this evening is about cleaning, draining, and drying your boat when you get through fishing to make sure you're not transporting any aquatic invasive species to, from one lake to the other. And Mandy's going to walk us through those steps. So obviously you've had a great day on the water, you get into the access, you get the boat on the trailer. What do you do next? We're going to follow Ray here and we're going to follow right through it. It's the clean, drain, dry method. So first of all, what Ray is doing, he's looking on the trailer on the bottom of the boat, specifically looking for any kind of vegetation that may be stuck there. So all vegetation, uh, no matter what it is, needs to be taken off of the bunks, taken off of the trailer, and taken off of the boat. Ray is now going to drain the boat. He's pulling the plug on the boat to let any water that could have possibly gotten in there drain. No water. Next, he's going to drop the motor and let the rest of the water in the lower unit drain out. It's normally a good practice. I let that hang down, I let it sit for a while, and then I jump up and we'll take care of the live wells. I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Yerk, the Bassin Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.